Hey guys, Thing Fishy here, and welcome to episode 9 of my Elden Ring boss parry guide. And today we're fighting Commander Nile. Now, this fight can be an absolute nightmare. In fact, the first video that I ever uploaded to this YouTube channel was just a PS5 upload of my first win against him with summons on my first playthrough, with a parry strategy written in the description. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the parry timings and walk you through a no summon strategy for this fight, then you guys can decide on using summons or not. Now I did this fight at level 80, which is about the lowest level you'll encounter Commander Narawa unless you're doing some sort of challenge run. So it's more than likely you'll be at a higher level than me for this, and therefore have the necessary damage output for this strategy. So before we get to the actual strategy, here's the parry timings you'll need. So we start off with the standard parryable attacks. His horizontal swings can be parried by inputting here, just when you see his weapon begin to rotate towards you. The stab attack can be parried by inputting here, as his hand passes behind his head. So now for the storm and frost attacks, the rule here is whenever you see him winding up for a storm attack you want to get away and create as much distance as possible to avoid those AoEs and frost swings which can stun lock you at close range. When you do this though the commander also has two devastating distance closing attacks that while they don't look it are actually parryable. This scary looking closer range storm attack can be parried here just when you see the end of his weapon emerge from the storm. And this terrifying long range attack is parryable and can be parried by inputting here just when you see that final big flash of sparks and his animation switches from running towards you to sliding towards you. The other attacks that you need to worry about come from the old electric foot Roll this swipe attack just as his leg becomes horizontal. Roll his AoE stomp the split seconds you see it start to descend. And you want to roll this jump attack as you see him start to descend from his highest point in the jump. And finally, if you end up being behind Commander Nile at any point, he will hit you with this little turn back combo. Just run or roll out of range to avoid this. So that's all of the ingredients, so let's put them all together. So we walk into the arena and buff up. I was using the damage negation and dexterity physic for this fight, but as is so often the case for this attempt, I forgot to use it because I'm an idiot. Now the first thing on the to-do list here is to get rid of the more dangerous dual wielding knight. So we want a damage output that allows us to stun lock this guy to death before he or his mates can hit us. So use the cheesiest weapon art you have. If you can't stunlock him with your current build, you can always back off and bait out a parryable swing instead. Now he's dealt with, we want to eliminate the other knight. So back away from him to the left of the arena. At this point, he will usually do his shield bash and close the distance and allow you to either backstab or parry him. Or if the commander isn't anywhere near him, you can just walk up like I do here. Keep an eye on the commander as you're doing this, but he'll usually be pretty passive unless he's right next to you. When the second knight dies, the commander will do his storm AOE. This is a great time to test out those new gestures that you might have picked up while he's getting all of the bad weather out of his system. When he's done, he'll hit you with the electric foot jump attack. Roll this, and then the parrying begins. Now, the only thing standing between you and Victory now are his storm attacks, which can be a one-shot at low levels. Try to stay calm and avoid these and parry the parryable ones. Once he gets below half health, you will start to see those electric foot attacks a little more often. Just dodge these and wait for your parries.
And that's it, how to parry Commander Nile. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon.